So I'm Tristan Thomas here, joined by Wyatt Wasilinchek, head coach of the Minot State men's hockey team, and season's right around the corner. I mean, how are things uh, getting going, and how are these early season practices going? Been really, really good so far. You know what? I, I really have, have been impressed with our five freshmen that we brought in, and um, obviously bringing back a, a big, big core of our team from last year is uh, is always nice for a coach. So um, looking good so far, and uh, really excited to get back on the ice. Yeah, and so you know the, the expectation here is pretty high. Of you know national championships uh, have been kind of the the top standard, I guess. I guess what goes into all of that of being a team that's capable of winning uh, winning it all. Well, you know what? It's, it's it's the personnel that you bring in. Um, we bring in some great kids that are, um, you know, coming from some pretty darn storied uh, junior hockey franchises, and um, that's the expectation is is to carry on that tradition from the ones that have graduated before you. And um, our leadership group is everything to us. Our captain, David Sheldon, is uh, the one that sets the tone, and um, we have a lot of a uh, lot of veteran leadership in the locker room. And for you entering your second year as head coach here, is there some things maybe you can take away from last year and kind of apply this year in year two? Absolutely. You know what? Obviously, the way that it ended last year was uh, far from what anybody could have imagined. But um, I think that that is our driving force every day at practice and in the weight room. And um, you can't take any game for granted. When you're at the top of the heap, you're, you're going to get the best from everybody. And um, I think maybe we had a little bit too much of a good thing last year. We hadn't lost a game since early December and um, went down early in that game at Nationals and boy I uh, lost a lot of sleep over that one so um, just never take anything for granted and, and you know show up every single day and get a little better and a um, little more competitive in practice and um, lots and lots to take from last year but hey we're moving forward to this one. Yeah and so for this year how does this, this year's team maybe differ from last year? I think we're a little more skilled I, I, I really think that you know we're going to put some more pucks in the net and um, obviously, it's it's going to be huge for us to bring back, you know, all three of our goaltenders, and um, you kind of start with the net out. So um, I think we're a really well well-rounded bunch. We brought in a couple of uh, heavy defensemen that are going to play a lot of minutes for us, and um, a lot of the same from last year. But we're uh, like I said, turning the page, and really excited about the, the new additions to our program. Yeah, and that that comfortability in in the goal. Like I guess, what does that do for the team, knowing you know, knowing that can be a steady force? It's huge, and you know what, for myself. Having a guy every night that I know is going to perform and play well is, is everything. And um, you know, your D can jump up in the rush a little more. Your your forwards can can you know sustain a little more zone time in the offensive zone and um, you know attack nets and, and play a little harder below the goal line when they know that uh, you know we've we've got a good goalie at the other end. And um, you know, not to say that we take any chances, but uh, it's sure nice having those goalies there. Yeah, and so I guess early in the season, what are some of the, the things you're looking for and for your team to, uh, I guess, get going and, and get to where you want to be? Well, I think just kind of that team first, you know, and, and finding our identity. Um, I've talked a lot uh, about last season, and it's, you know, like I said, time to turn the page on that one and, and find a new identity for our team here. And um, I think it's it's going to be a feeling out process a little bit on Friday night for sure. We're, we're going to roll four lines, and everybody's going to play on the power play and the penalty kill. and. Um, just kind of getting comfortable with one another. Awesome. Anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up here? No, thanks very much, and we're uh, we're excited for another season of Beaver Hockey.